collection means uh, for me family. I have one brother, two sisters, uh, very strong connection with Monica uh, Macaluso. So we are we're a real family, but the family is even more extended uh, to, to the cars. So every single car here is connected with very strong uh, memories and very strong emotions. Every time uh, I, I touch the steering wheel and uh, start the engine, uh, it made me think about the great experiences and uh, connected also with uh, people designing the car and driving the car. I consider personally this collection like a big family, a big extended family, and something excellent uh, to, to share the, 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 with my sisters and my brother and Monica. My name is Stefano Macaluso and uh, I represent uh, the uh, Gino Macaluso Collection and Foundation. And uh, here it's uh, my family uh, favorite place uh, because it's the carriage where we keep all our cars uh, from, from rallies and competition and, and GT cars. So my father uh, was uh, um, a rally man. Uh, as a co-driver and then team manager during the early 70s. Well, then we can consider the uh, golden age of uh, rallying. Uh, he was originally from Turin, so naturally he uh, was co-driver for Fiat and Abarth and the official team. Um, he started in uh, 1969 and uh, he stopped in 1974. Uh, winning in 1972 with uh, Lele Pinto as a driver the, the European Championship with the Fiat uh, uh, 124 um, Spider, and then with uh, uh, Maurizio Verini as a driver uh, the Italian Championship uh, with the Fiat Abarth uh, 124. The story uh, of his career in rallies at the peak in 1974. Uh, when uh, he was uh, in charge of the uh, uh, Fiat Abarth uh, uh, X19 prototype, uh, he uh, developed the car uh, and the car was very, um, was, let's say, a real winner, uh, inspired uh, by other winning cars. So they needed something light uh, like the Alpine Renault uh, 100 uh, A110. Uh, and uh, with mid-engine uh, like the Stratos to be very competitive and, uh, and beat them. So the X019 was a perfect one. Um, they made an agreement with Bertone uh, to produce uh, the, um, all the, the number of the cars needed for the homologation uh, in uh, uh, Group 4. But then suddenly uh, a Fiat Group that uh, included uh, uh, Abarth uh, and uh, Fiat and Lancia decided to focus on Stratos only. So the project was stopped and also my father decided to, uh, to leave the company. And then uh, for the uh, following 15 years, uh, he was uh, only focused on watches because he was a relevant uh, uh, character in, uh, in the watch industry. And in the second half of 80s, going back to Club Italia Association, um, uh, meeting people, uh, he found uh, one of the last uh, X19 prototypes still uh, existing. The X19 uh, story, which is quite classic uh, finding uh, in a farm uh, north of Italy uh, with this uh, car uh, that my father sold last time in 1974, and after more than 15 years, uh, on the gain. It was quite funny because the owner was um, uh, a businessman uh, in farming, so a big chicken uh, drawing was, uh, was, uh, was on the car. Um, nearby uh, his farm, uh, it was quite curious because uh, a man, um, um, a workshop for body works, uh, kept um, uh, all the original parts. My father decided to both uh, uh, the car and the body parts uh, and then and restore uh, the car exactly as it was in uh, um, Giro d'Italia 1974, the same race he had with uh, Clay Regazzoni, Formula, Ferrari Formula 1 driver. 
Um, so I think X19 is really the uh, founding um, car of the collection. Uh, but then, of course, uh, was, it was a very living passion. So he, 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 at the time, he didn't stop uh, with that. And then, so he was really looking for x works uh, rally cars. So most of the cars here are uh, x works uh, and winner in uh, Italian or European or uh, World Championship. So we have a uh, Monte Carlo winner. Uh, we have a uh, Tour de Corse. Uh, we have San Remo winner. We have uh, REC winners, uh, Thousand Lake winners. Uh, and from all the different culture uh, in rallies, so uh, British cars and French and Italians, of course, and German, uh, absolutely. And um, probably one of the most relevant is the RC Turbo 5 from Ragno T, driven by Ragno T and winning the uh, Monte Carlo rally. And then another I love is the um, x uh, uh, BMC uh, Mini Cooper, winning in Thousand Lake uh, uh, Rally with McKinnon. And this is just an example. Of course, most of the focus is on Lancia and Fiat because uh, it's our region, uh, but uh, we have a very worldwide respect for, for the speciality. And then we love talking about Finnish or British or French uh, or Spanish uh, people and Germans, of course. This may be uh, the Car, the rally car I prefer to drive is the Lancia 037. It's very elegant Martini racing uh, colors. Uh, I love it. Ex uh, Carlos Sainz uh, um, RAC Toyota Celica. But uh, here is also, it's, a, it's a, roughly the same time, a couple of years later. It's uh, a, a Lancia Delta Integrale Safari. This car was bought directly by Lancia team. Uh, it's interesting because uh, Kankonen rolled up in, in Africa and so uh, we changed the roof. We still have the roof uh, in our collection uh, and um, it's absolutely original car like coming directly from, uh, from Africa with also some uh, uh, fascinating device which is not mechanical at all. This machete which is quite exotic detail but um, Still interesting, and uh, is uh, probably the last uh, Delta uh, competing uh, as, as an official car, of course. My father was also crazy about uh, uh, design and cars. So he decided to buy some uh, uh, classic uh, GT car, also with a special angle. Uh, they are very classic, but uh, for instance, the focus is about uh, what was the best GT car at the mid of the 60s. And then uh, today uh, there is a more beautiful, more traditional uh, DB5 with a front engine, very classic GT. Uh, then uh, there is uh, a um, Ferrari 275 uh, GTB, uh, which is uh, probably one of the best icon uh, in GT car of the time, always Berlinetta style with the front engine. And a very intriguing uh, Bidlerini, uh, 5300 GT, with a mid engine but still in front, with a very nice and good looking uh, aluminum bodywork, extremely wild and, and, and an interesting car, very charming, as I mentioned, very sexy design. And of course, from the same time, the uh, Lamborghini Miura with the mid engine, but on the back. So you can compare four different philosophy and then with a beautiful design as well. Um, not only, of course, also the cars from the 50s are interesting, like uh, Lancia, Aurelia, Coupe, uh, B20, uh, or Bentley Continental R or Galway, this kind of beautiful car. For us, it's very important uh, to keep the memory of uh, first of golden age of rallies, uh, of motorsport uh, as um, pop culture, uh, extremely re relevant uh, in the 20th century. I think most of these cars are masterpieces of the uh, design, engineering, um, and uh, like uh, movies or songs from the time, they are still in the memory of people. So there is a full uh, uh, emotional connection and uh, rally cars, uh, I think, uh, is our angle to, uh, to preserve uh, this kind of culture. 
so we are renovating another garage. Um, this garage will be kind of a Wunderkammer, uh, so a chamber of wonders. And then uh, we are making a new library. We'll, uh, we'll have our uh, book, uh, book collection about cars. And then, but then there will be a very private, uh, special space uh, where we recreate uh, um, our father's uh, office, Gino Macaluso's office, exactly as it was during the 90s where he was used to, uh, to, to stay there. In order to have, of course, here it's a tribute to his uh, opera, uh, generally speaking, but that part will be particularly uh, like a time machine uh, with uh, everything connected with him. For us, the mission for the family uh, is to, um, to go ahead with the same uh, involvement and the same philosophy uh, by uh, Gino Macaluso. So as a family, we decided to keep the collection, um, which today I think is one of the most relevant for X-Horse uh, rally cars. And of course, so we have uh, we're still not finished uh, uh, construction uh, uh, work. Uh, to uh, give uh, um, a good um, uh, envelope to, to the collection. Uh, that's why we are restoring our old garage and adding also new facilities like uh, a full workshop, uh, a workshop for engines and gearboxes as, as well. So the idea is also to set up an exhibition and, uh, and show the cars in museum in order to also go to the people uh, and, get, and give a good message uh, and something they can uh, be, uh, uh, they can feel really uh, involved in the, in the uh, golden age of rallies. And of course, this is one of the mission of uh, Gino Macaluso Foundation.